for book one, proposition number 19 of Euclid's Elements. In any triangle, the greater angle is subtended by the greater side. So if we start with some triangle, ABC, and we know that this angle ABC is bigger than the angle ACB, then what we're trying to prove here is that the side AC is bigger than the side AB. And the way that Euclid approached this proof is by first assuming the opposite. Assume that AC must either be less than AB or equal to AB. So let's take each of these two cases individually. Let's first look at whether or not AC can equal AB. And we know due to book one, proposition number five, that if these two lines, AB and AC equal each other, then the angles that subtend these lines, namely this angle here and this angle here, must be equal as well. But we know that one of these angles is bigger than the other, so this can't be true. So we can cross that out, and now we can just focus on the second case, where AC is less than AB. But with this, we know due to book one, proposition number 18, that if AC is less than AB, so if this side here is smaller than this side here, then that would mean that this angle here is bigger than this angle here, since we just proved that in the last video. But we know the opposite is true in this case as well. So again, this can't be true. And since both of our assumptions led to logical contradictions, we can conclude that our assumption was wrong. And since AC cannot be less than or equal to AB, we've shown that it must be bigger than AB, which is exactly what we sought to prove. So we can end with QED.